Hi there, welcome to the channel. This is Iron Toes. This is a quick guide to Angela and why I took my six star to rank two. So let's get down to it. First off, Angela has at rank two six star has 28,000 health. Now that's pretty run of the mill for a rank two six star or a rank five five star. But let me tell you, she can take a hit. First off, she has a regeneration mobility, right? So every 10% of her health lost, she gains 5% of it back. It doesn't give you a percentage there, but if you do the math, that's about what it is. And on top of that, she has the adrenaline mechanic because she's a six star, so she gains 30% of her health back as long as you can keep hitting the opponent uh, after you've lost health. So yeah, it's 28,000 health, but if you are really in a long haul battle, it's more like 40 to 50,000 health. It's pretty ridiculous. The second thing I want to tell you about Angela is that you are basically in control of her buffs, right? So a lot of champions can't say this. It's more random in nature. But for her, if you have less than a bar of power, you have armor up buffs. And they're so consistent that it's, it's basically guaranteed. Between one and two bars of power, she gets fury buffs, which is insane. At three furies, it's basically double her attack. Uh, and when you're between two and three bars of power, she gets critical hit buffs, which for long battles are excellent. And we're not going to bother with their special attacks. So let's take her for a test drive. The first thing is, um, I chose synergies that help Angela. The first one is Heimdall, right? For two reasons. Number one, you get uh, the extra, you get the cheat death. But when you charge right here, you get that uh, fury. And uh, I also have another synergy in there to get those precision buffs the whole time. So you can see right here, once I get over a bar of power, she starts, instead of getting a bunch of armor up buffs, she starts getting fury buffs. I have three right now. And once I cross over to that two bars of power there, I get critical buffs. Now for this particular battle, it's a very high health opponent. So I'm going to keep using my special two once I get really close to that third bar of power, but without going into the third bar of power. The reason that is, is because I get to keep all but one of my critical buffs, precision buffs. And that, get, that puts me right below that first bar of power. So as soon as I start back into my next combo, then I have my three Furies. And you can see the damage is absolutely immense. Um, a lot of times, if you can manage to get five critical hits in a five hit combo, you're talking about 20 to 25,000 damage in just a combo. There's a lot of champions out there so that, that, that you'd love to get that off of their special one or special two, but she does it regularly between specials. Very awesome. What else you need to know here? So I know there's a lot of other champions that can beat uh, Winter Soldier faster, right? So I mean, Archangel is a good, a good example. If you're just mining gold and potions, Archangel gets it done pretty quick. Domino gets it done pretty quick. Star-Lord gets it done pretty quick. But what's different about Angela? For starters, it doesn't matter if you break your combo. So if you're looking for a champion to beat uh, a high health opponent, and you have to manage a combo to keep that up real good and keep that high damage output. Not really a concern with Angela. If you get hit, number one, you can take it. And number two, she recovers easily. She's, she picks up right where she was with all of her buffs. There's no break in her damage output. Number two, um, somebody like Domino or even Archangel, they really, they're excellent on their own. Don't get me wrong, I'm not bashing them in the least. But if the opponent doesn't bleed, it really takes the edge off of their damage output. Angela doesn't re doesn't rely on any debuffs on the opponent, so regardless of whether they're bleed immune, poison immune, incinerate immune, cold snap immune, any sort of immune, right? She's going to do that damage output no matter what. Uh, and likewise with Archangel, he he depends on the opponent to be both bleed and poison able in order to really do that damage output. Not the case with Angela. So. Why would I bring this champion up to rank two as a six star? She's good in so many situations. So many situations. Doesn't rely on the champion to be able to bleed or any sort of poison or, or uh, debuff or damage over time debuff. Um, you can take a hit. You can take a lot of damage. You can also take a hit and break your combo and she just picks up where she left off. So this has been a staple of my roster for the last year or so probably a little over a year ago I ranked her up to rank two and I just even if they gave us rank down tickets because a lot of people tease me it's like why would you do that uh, well there's a lot of specific champs out there for scenarios like you know void or Corvus or or even Aegon uh, Aegon maybe he might be a special exception but for Angela she can be used in so many situations and I find that to be true even after all this time if Kabam handed out rank down tickets I wouldn't use it on her um, I have some five stars I might I might use it on but uh 
Yeah, so if you're thinking about it and, and you don't have any other good options, I highly recommend Angela. She will be a staple in your roster too. So that's a quick look at her. Um, I hope you guys like this. Subscribe if you haven't already and uh, share with your alliances if you think this might be helpful. Catch you guys on the flip side. Bye.